So with Jiren on the horizon potentially being part of Extra Pack 6 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on how to add Jiren to Xenoverse. Like what will we do? What are the blueprints we want the developers to have making this character? Cause he might be 10% done at this point because he might be getting added in January, February and they might not even be halfway done with him. So we might be able to influence this character. So I wanted to make this video. So the first big point that I wanted to get across is how should this character sound? Because I don't think it matters how he sounds in a video game because if you hadn't noticed, Hit sounds dramatically different in the anime dub of Dragon Ball Super as opposed to how he sounds in Xenoverse 2. It's almost two completely different voices. I don't know if anyone caught that. So the voice actor that I would like to see portray Jiren in Xenoverse 2 would be the voice of Madara Uchiha from Storm 3 and Storm 4. Like. For some reason, I just see that voice fitting perfectly for him, especially when he would say, it's over in a Madara voice. I just think that would be perfect. Now, if you couldn't get Madara Uchiha, of course you could get the voice actor that plays Pain in the dub of Naruto. So it would be Vic Maragna. He already does Broly. I don't think there would be any difficulty getting him. So those are the only two voices, but I'm, I'm leaning a lot more towards Madara Uchiha. I want him to have that like, that small little an antagonistic tone to him. So he's not really a villain. He's the leader of the Pride Troopers, but he needs to sound somewhat intimidating and, and antagonistic. And I think the voice actor for Madara pulls that off perfectly. So, Super Soul, it's over. That's all it needs to say, it's over. And what I see this Super Soul doing is two things. Number one, it would extend stamina break. So I say like by 50%, it extends the stam uh, stamina break duration. And during that time, you get a extra large boost to all your attacking stats. Like this Super Soul needs to be strong because Jiren is strong. That's all that needs to be said about it. Clothing stats all need to be plus fives. Plus five health, plus five key, plus five stamina, plus five strike supers, plus five basic and plus five key blast supers. He, Jiren is all powerful. I better not see a minus anything on this guy's clothing. Now, the most important part, the moves. We all know the moves he needs to have, and I'm gonna add some clips. Uh, the main moves that I wanna talk about, so you'll see a couple of more moves than what I'm actually talking about, but the two or three that I wanna cover in particular would be his ultimate. Uh, of course, you know he does the blast and then he turns around, he strikes the little Power Ranger uh, pose with his arms crossed and everything and the explosion goes off in the background. Perfect. That's Jiren all day. That's what we need to be seeing in Xenoverse 2. Make it a Storm 4 level ult where we just see the explosion. It's beautiful. We see the debris, you know, coming forth into the screen with Jiren just standing there like he doesn't care. Perfect. That's the way it needs to work like it makes itself now the other move that i definitely see him getting is the move that he beat manji kyle with i think i pronounced that correctly uh that little wind force punch that he does and i see this move working like the original Innoc innocence cannon did where it pushed you far away that's what this move needs to do it pushes you far away it does heavy damage like i think it just makes itself at that point now combos for me they you know they did something unique with uh merge zamas they gave him the key blast for his triangle strings which is fine but for jiren they have to make him somewhat unique and i was thinking that maybe he could auto teleport to his opponent like when you do his triangle strings they automatically teleport him to wherever his opponent is and i think that that's okay for this character since he's supposed to be beyond god of destruction level and he can speed blitz people he can beat the crap out of them just give him auto teleport on his triangle combos i don't think it would be overpowered I think it would be a healthy addition and it would handle the running problem in Xenoverse 2 where people just run away. If Jiren could just auto teleport to you, like better than instant transmission, just come in and start comboing you, I think it would completely melt the running problem 
and it would give Jiren something that makes him feel unique without overdoing his stats. Speaking of his stats, honestly, I, I don't know. I said I wanted his clothing to be plus five and everything, but he needs to have a lot of health, decent stamina. So I, I say like six bars of stamina, maybe tipping over to seven basic attack needs to be monstrous or his multiplier on his combos need to be monstrous either or like you know whatever you do there uh dumps you make the choice of uh, key blast supers they his key blast super needs to be normal it doesn't need to be absurdly high because obviously this uh move is going to have its own base damage so i mean whatever you want to do there but this guy needs to be a monster and of course you've seen all the move clips that I've done. I already know what this man's stamina break is gonna be. That little uh, front flip drop kick he did on hit. That's definitely a heavy stamina break. Man, I'm really just excited about Jiren being added to Xenoverse 2. I, if it's not Jiren, they're completely trolling. So this is how I would add Jiren to Xenoverse 2. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What changes or alterations would you make? And how do you feel about my suggestions to Dimps? I've been your perfect being in the greatest Dragon Ball anime and gaming channel on YouTube. Yes, the name is Perfection. And I will see you in the next video.